and is the exact same career winning percentage as his predecessor, Dave Hackstall. So this season, just two penalties taken in two games. Now a quick one here gives UND a chance on the power play. Shane Pinto nearly opening his account on the season. Jacob Bernard Zocker, former first rounder for the Sens, up to Gavin Hayne, who will knock it down at the blue line. A chance shorthanded coming for Mark Senden, who's joining the play. Senden, backhanded, and tapped in by Gavin Hayne! North Dakota on the board, shorthanded! Midway through period number one! Well, two plays are going to stick out here on this, and it starts all from Gavin Hayne. You're going to watch him gain the zone here. He doesn't just throw that into the corner and look for a change. What he does, he throws it to open ice. Mark Sennon does a great play. He's trying to get it over. And look. A right shot defenseman paired with Jacob Bernard Docker, who got the secondary assist a moment ago as Weatherby puts one in. Grand mismatch, finding his first of the season. Goals a little over a minute apart here, and it's 2-0 North Dakota. Mismatch on the rebound. Well, you're going to see this is all Weatherby. Look at that active stick. He pokes it loose, and again, look at the poise, the patience, and this is just one. The wear and tear on these players' bodies, it's going to add up as UND is now on the power play. Gaber out of the box. Great chance in front. 3-0. Shane Pinto. A beautiful feed from behind the goal line. And the sophomore is there to finish. Power play goal for Pinto. And look out. Well, this is Colin Adams' play. He's going to set up right here, kind of in the his work area. Look at this pass. I mean, that is just threaded through like a needle. Dane Jackson squad again, getting the job done. Big hit there by Frisch. Buck though comes. First action for Tomey of any type of meaningful shot stopping. With this North Dakota hockey team on working on these face-offs, and again, another clean win. And again, that's Pinto against Washi. It's sitting on the goal line, and it is in! Four to nothing, North Dakota! Pinto with the face-off win. The shot goes on frame. Kane didn't stop it cleanly. I don't think they know who's going to get credit for it. Pinto's going to go down the line first. The face-offs, just an important part of this game. North Dakota has been dominant. You're going to see this is just shot just going to squeak through. And I think actually Western Michigan is going to put this in themselves. It looks like Michael Joyal is diving back to try and save this. And his momentum yeah. just carries them in. And he 60, puts or 40 minutes left to try and make a comeback here. But if it remains like this, UND would go top. They're on five points right now. And looking for more here, Reese Gaber. Gaber! What a move and a goal for the freshman! Right off the jump, 13 seconds into the period. Gaber's got his second of the season, and it is a beauty, Jake Brantz. Well, things go from bad to worse here quickly for Western Michigan. Not the start that they wanted, but I felt like Reese Gaber was the best player, and you see the quick transition, the stretch pass. Look at this, puts the brakes on. And that's just a goal scorer's goal. Trying to beat fast for pace. Gabe doing a nice job sticking with him and winning the puck back for UND. Tyler Clevin now. Former Fargo's Davies Eagle. Look at that! Wristing one high and in beyond Aslanidis. 6 nothing North Dakota. Clevin, his first career goal. They just keep coming in this afternoon for the number one team in the country. Well, the zone entry is just way too easy. You see it's a stretch pass, and a, look at the toe drag there. You see Ronnie Adar doing a good job of getting over to Tyler Clevin, but Clevin... Sends in getting the primary assist. Passel trying to get one back here as Tomey tested for just the third time tonight. UND maintains possession. Sanderson to Albrecht! Oh, off the crossbar and up and out of play. These two got to switch up top. You're going to watch Bast and Moore need to switch. Bast. Or not. That's a goal. <laughs> Game Bast on the one-timer. <laughs> Shut your mouth, Jake France. <laughs> well, it came from the other side. I said he had to, these guys, they had to, both the point guys up on different sides where the one-timer wasn't open, let you look so much for on a five-on-three, but... 
pass getting it from the other side, which perfect. He's open for the one-timer on this angle. Addered one time. Toby could not make the stop in the end. Washi gets the touch. And the he was at 61% last year, one of the top marks all time in North Dakota history. Cooper Moore, big one time slap shot that Azalanitas fights off. At 4 o'clock today, right after the game is going to end, he's going to head to the airport. Springing mismatch now. Kawaguchi, mismatch in the back of the net. This top line so effective when they get ahead of steam, the chemistry evidence. Grant mismatch able to pop one here. Eight to one, North Dakota. This is what you expected to see out of this top line. Look at them. They drive the net, mismatch. It's the quick little flick of the wrist. Just a little Couple soft. real good grade A scoring opportunities, and Rennick was real good last night. Shot That's by Passold, able to sneak one past Tomey. Good chance down low. Washi finding Adder. Nice sliding save by Tomey. And it appears 8-2 to two is going to be the score here tonight. North Dakota improves to 3-0 on the season.